Hi there. We're continuing our journey through the Psalms, the Tehillim, which in Hebrew means the praises. And today we're in Psalm 95. And in Hebrew letter numbering system, that's Sadeh He. Sadeh is the Hebrew letter that stands for number 90, and He is the letter that stands for the number 5. And this is one of the enthronement psalms. This is a psalm of acclamation of God as king. But it kind of comes in two parts. The first part is really about encouragement to praise, to worship, describing God as being our king and our God. But then the last part is a prophetic warning, a warning to people not to take God for granted and not to treat him badly as the children of Israel did back in Exodus 17 and Numbers 20. So it opens up with lechu narana nal adonai. Lechu, the word, first word lechu, although in our translations, a lot of translations have come, it actually means go in Hebrew, lechu. So it's go on, come on, go on. It's that kind of let's go, let's get started. And then lechu narana nal adonai, let's make a, 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 a loud song, let's make music, let's make noise. This is not a quiet psalm at all. And it says, let's, um, let's make a, a, a loud noise. Uh, let's express with a shout. The word nario uh, is, is linked to the, to the same word trua, which means to uh, sound a blast on a trumpet. So this is another encouragement to make a noise for God, to express celebration. When we celebrate, we tend to make a noise about it. And he is the rock of our salvation. So there's an invitation here. This may well be a psalm connected with a procession, a procession going up to the temple, perhaps in the New Year festival, perhaps in the one of the autumn festivals. But it's a, a time of celebration. Let's come before his presence with thanksgiving, make a joyful noise to him with uh, with songs. The word there is mirot, uh, with with musical compositions. Let's come before him with thanksgiving because ki el gadol Adonai, because the Lord is a great God. He's a big God. He's a king above all gods. All of these others who claim to be gods, they're nothing compared to him. And in his hand is everything. The sea is his. He made it. The earth is his. And then in verse 6, come, let us worship. Nishtach nichra, and let's bow down before him. Very physical aspects to this as well. This is not a, a stand still and be quiet and worship. This is actually an expressive movement song. So it's nishtach let's go face down before him. Let's bow down before God, our maker. And then nivracha is an interesting word because the word nivracha means let's kneel in this context, but it's also connected to the word barach, baruch, meaning to bless. So the word for blessing has to do with kneeling, with, with bending the knee. And so here we encourage to bend the knee, to express in movement before God that he is great. And he is our maker, and therefore we recognize that by bowing before him. He's our God, and we are the people of his pasture, marito, sono, his sheep, the people who are his. So this is very much um, linked again. We read it again in Psalm 100. We, it's connected back again to Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. This picture of us as being dependent upon him as our caring, loving shepherd. Uh, and then there is a, a change in verse 8 to another theme, which is uh, when we're coming and there's all this praise and worship going on, it says today, if you hear the Lord's voice, don't harden your heart. And even in the midst of this worship, even in the midst of this praise, there's a danger of us becoming familiar, over familiar with God, hardening our hearts and rejecting his voice. And so the, the prophetic call is here not to do what they did in Exodus 17 and in Numbers 20 and turn against God and to take him for granted and put him to the test. And because of that, God says, for 40 years, I, I made them wander in the desert and that generation fell in the desert um, and uh, and they became a people who were hard-hearted hard, hard, hard and stiff-necked, not listening to God's voice. And of course, God promised that they would never into, enter into menuchati. They would never enter menucha, this word at the end, rest. It's not the word Shabbat that's often used for rest. Here it's menucha, and menucha is calm, it's peace, it's rest, it's relaxation. 
And here God had said to his people, because they took him for granted and because they tested him in this way, he said, you will not know rest. The joy for us is that we can, through what Jesus has done and through the gift of his Holy Spirit, we can enter Menucha, we can enter his rest. We can enter with joy into his presence. Jesus himself is in the presence of God and we're invited today, to go, go on. Let's give God the celebration and the praise that he deserves. Have a good day.